David David Frith, who requests no introduction, especially to the pre tutorati generation who enjoyed cricket books. And uh, we are here in a place which is a shrine for any lover of cricket, lover of cricket history. It's full of books collected over a lifetime of dedication to cricket and also cricketana uh, memorabilia a lot of things to like cherish out here and uh, we are with david and he will be talking about many things along, among which is his uh, autobiography which was published last year paddington boy and my first question to david is um got england board australia first autobiography was published in the late 1990s and uh, a quarter of a century later this was published and how different is it from Got England Bull Australia? What are the changes and additions to it? Well, the new book is a revision of the old because there were errors, uh, unwitting errors in the first one, Quillian World of Australia, which I could write. Some of them are about ancestry, which interests some people, if not everyone, but uh, I've got some pretty interesting ancestors. One of them was hanged for murder. And um, war losses, both world wars. All of that doesn't take up much space, but it's been put right. And the years since I wrote um, Court England Bold Australia, which didn't have a great circulation, I think we published only 2,000 copies. They went pretty quickly. Uh, so I suppose they're collector's items, but it's important to me to have updated because in the last 20 odd years a good deal has happened and uh, it's essentially a cricket book but it's also about a man's story from just before the first the second world war and it uh, refers to both my countries England and Australia who I split my life and other places too, because I followed the cricket ball all around the world to uh, India and Pakistan. And I saw the first Sri Lanka test match, went to South Africa before it was readmitted. And I've been since. But Australia was uh, where I grew up and uh, part of my heart is still there. And most precious of all was that um, I met my wife, Debbie, in Queensland, and uh, we had 62 wonderful years together. Um, the loss of her has been a hammer blow. That's covered in the book, as disciplined as I could make it. Um, but my other big, big friend in Australia was Don Bradman, and uh, it was a great privilege to be among his close friendships. And there are quite a few stories about the Don. In England, I suppose the number one figure in my life was John Arlott. It was John who got me on to the mainstream when he uh, lined up with Swanton, uh, a position for me on the Cricketer magazine. That was my first real step forward. And after that, I started my own magazine up, Wisdom Cricket Monthly, and I'm very proud of that. Ran it for a long time, I think 17 years, until uh, another night of the long knives. Cricket seems to be full of that sort of thing. It's not the pristine, holy pastime that some people assume. Um, it's got a dark side too. There's some strange people in this world of cricket.